And now let's review the full project. As you can see, there are several artboards, all converted into components. They are all set up in the same way, but I'll focus on one just to show you the layout settings. There's a layout with the background color, in this case red, set to fill. Inside there's an instance of a component that includes an animation where the eyes follow the cursor. All of the artboards are flagged as components, which allows me to copy them into the main artboard. And let's go there. The main artboard is set to hug and contains a row layout with two columns, left and right. On the left side, there are two layouts called top left and bottom left. On the right, there are two layouts called top right and bottom right. Inside each layout, you'll find an instance of its respective component. All of these are bound to properties of the main view model. The artboard itself is bound to the main view model, which contains four artboard properties named after the layouts. Top left, bottom left, top right, and bottom right. Now in animate mode, let's check out the listener panel. Here you'll see several listeners with pointer enter and pointer exit events, setting values through the data binding artboard property. One more thing I added is a layout animation of 400 milliseconds on the row layout and the other layouts are set to inherit that animation timing. Okay, so that was it for the project review. Stay tuned for the last part, the isometric view trick. See you soon.